Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Downy Rinse and Refresh to see if it can remove bacteria from my laundry. This video is a viewer request. My viewer, Catherine, mailed me this Downy Rinse and Refresh and included a note that says, I was wondering if you'd like to test this out sometime to see if it can remove bacteria in laundry. Thank you, from Catherine. So Catherine, this video is for you. So in order to test if this Downy Rinse and Refresh can remove bacteria from my laundry, so what I'll do is take some white cleaning cloths and wipe them around my house in places where I know I normally get a lot of bacteria. Kitchen sink, kitchen drain, bathroom sink, toilet rim. That will get the bacteria on the cleaning cloths. Next, I'll take some sterile swabs and Petri dishes and swab the cloth. I'll place that sample in the section label B for before. Then I'll wash the cleaning cloths using the downy rinse and refresh and we'll read the directions on how to do that in just a second. When they come out of the washing machine, I'll swab them again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. Seize the control, nothing's going to go there. Then I'll place them in the dryer and I'll get another petri dish where I will swab them after they come out of the dryer. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on the cloth before washing, after washing using the downy rinse and refresh, and after coming out of my dryer. I do want to point out, nowhere on this bottle, anywhere, does downy rinse and refresh say they can remove bacteria or make any claims to be able to remove bacteria. We are just testing to see if it can remove bacteria because that's Catherine's request. Okay, so let's read about it. So it is a deep cleansing fabric rinse, safe on all fabrics, Great on active wear, towels, delicates, baby clothes, and all washables. This one's gentle on the skin, there's no dyes, and no heavy perfumes, so that's nice. It gives the directions how to use as well as a QR code if you want more information. So it says, add your usual detergent before adding downy rinse. Pour downy rinse directly into the fabric, softener dispenser, easy. Start filling half of the dispenser, about a quarter cup for normal loads, and pour more for tougher odors. All right. So since I'm doing this test on just the downy rinse and refresh, I'm not going to include any detergent in the washing machine. I'm just gonna put this in the fabric softener compartment, just like I test all my other laundry sanitizers with no detergent. When I clicked on the QR code, it gives some more instructions and some more information, and it does say to fill the fabric softener drawer for the best results. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill this in my fabric softener compartment up to the max line. So let's see how well the downy rinse and refresh removes bacteria from my laundry even though they make no claims to be able to.
Now for some results. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, it looks like there's just about the same amount of bacteria on the cloth as there were before we washed the cloth. So the downy rinse and refresh was unable to remove bacteria from the kitchen sink cleaning cloth. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. In the after section, again, we're also seeing a lot of bacteria. So the downy rinse and refresh did not remove any bacteria from the kitchen sink drain cleaning cloth. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see bacteria. We can also see some different types of bacteria, so I like this sample. And in the after section, we can see a slight decrease in bacteria, but there is still bacteria on the cloth. So the downy rinse and refresh did not remove bacteria from the bathroom sink cleaning cloth. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we have quite a decrease in bacteria. The after section only has about a dozen bacterial colonies compared to that before section that has a smearing of bacteria. So it seems that the downy rinse and refresh removed quite a bit of bacteria from the toilet rim cleaning cloth. Let's have a look after they were dried in the dryer. So this Petri dish has both the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink drain swabs after coming out of the dryer. In this section for the kitchen sink, there were two tiny small bacterial colonies, and in the kitchen sink drain side, there were none. So the dryer did a tremendous job actually at removing the bacteria from the cleaning cloths. The bathroom sink and the toilet rim, the bathroom sink had two bacterial colonies left over after coming out of the dryer, and the toilet rim didn't have any. So the dryer did a great job at removing the residual bacteria from these cleaning cloths. Overall, downy rinse and refresh does not seem to be the type of product that is meant to use to remove bacteria from cleaning cloths or laundry, and they make no claims to be able to do so. I did look again on the back to see, well, what does it claim to do, right? Because this is not a fabric softener and it's not a laundry sanitizer. But what it says is, the breakthrough low pH solution clarifies your fabrics by removing the residue buildup that detergent at its neutral pH cannot. And on the front here, there's an asterisk beside the word residue, and that in the back says, like hard water and metals. So that's interesting. So this product is not something that you want to use in your laundry if you're looking for a traditional fabric softener, because that's not what it is. It's also not something that you would use if you're looking for a traditional laundry sanitizer. However, if you're looking for something to remove residue from your laundry, such as hard water buildup, this is the product that you would want to use. Catherine mailed me the fragrance-free downy rinse and refresh, and I didn't smell anything uh, when I was using it. If anything, you smell like the plastic bottle. There's a light scent. I can't quite tell what it is. I think it's just a plastic bottle, but there's no heavy perfumes um, at all in this fragrance-free version. So thank you, Catherine, for mailing me the downy rinse and refresh. I'm sorry it didn't have better results in removing bacteria, but the product is not supposed to even be able to remove bacteria. Now, some people might ask, well, how come that toilet room bacteria was removed, but the kitchen sink and the kitchen sink drain bacteria was removed? And it may be simply that it's just a different bacteria. We have different environmental bacteria in our homes. What's in the kitchen sink is going to be different from the bathroom sink, and that's going to be different from the toilet room. So it is possible that the bacteria on my toilet room responded to the citric acid, which is one of the ingredients in the downy rinse and refresh, but the other bacteria just did not. I did conduct this test two times just to make sure the results were the same, and they were both times. So thank you, Catherine, for mailing me this product. I enjoyed testing it. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can do what Catherine did and mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.